extra variance. The perimeter wire can either be laid on the ground or buried. If buried, the wire can be laid manually or with the help of a wire trenching machine if it is carried out by a specialized installer. Dig the ground according to a previously outlined route and position the wire at a depth of 2 to 3 centimeters. Remember not to bury the wire deeper than 5 centimeters so as to reduce the signal quality. If the wire supplied with the robot is not sufficient to cover the whole installation, additional wire can be purchased at the dealership. The two wires need to be joined correctly. Cut the wire's protective lining as much as needed to join the cables. Divide the extremities of the two wires into two sections. Connect them to one another and bend them as shown. Protect the connection with self-sticking tape. Do not use insulating tape. Any section of lawn separated by a passage that is inferior to 140 cm or is divided by steps or slopes that are above the allowed percentage have to be considered and managed as a closed area. The closed area has to be limited by the perimeter wire just as for the primary and secondary areas. The wire setting for closed areas has to be planned in the one-way circuit to and from the charging station. A common mistake is excluding the wire setting on closed areas from the unique circuit setting and creating a second circuit of wire. The robot won't recognize the signal and won't be able to work in that specific area. Remember not to cross the wire on the way to and from the closed area, but to lay the wires down close to one another. For the robot to operate in the closed area, lift it by the handle and carry it to the closed area by positioning it in a central position, and in any case at a distance of 1 meter from the perimeter wire or any obstacles. Now change the work mode from automatic to closed area. Press on and wait a few seconds until pause appears on the display. Press menu to access the user menu setup. Scroll with plus to work mode and press menu to access it. Scroll with plus to closed area and press menu to access the function. Closed area, 60 minutes, appears as the default value. Increase or decrease the value with plus and minus to the desired time you want the robot to work in the closed area and press menu to confirm. Press start pause to exit the menu. Press start pause for the robot to start cutting the lawn. Once the set time runs out, the robot stops close to the perimeter wire. The robot can also operate on an area not delimited by the perimeter wire, if it is provided by a boundary. Such a boundary has to be at least 15 cm high along the whole perimeter. This function can be selected from Work Mode, then scrolling to No Border and pressing Menu to confirm. But we recommend this use only when the robot's movements can be driven by an operator using the remote control, available on select robot versions only. The robot automatically returns to the automatic working mode. Lift the robot by the handle and transfer it to the charging station. Press on and wait a few seconds until charging appears. The robot charges and waits for the next program working cycle.